Going into season three, what can we expect from Ambrose? What can I tell you without telling you? Let the fan fiction begin. <laughs> season three. Hello, welcome to Pop Bars. We are joined by the iconic Ambrose Spellman himself, Chance Podomo, everybody. Hello, folks. Hi. Hey. First of all, congratulations on season two. Woo! Crazy season. Amber behind the camera says you are the best character on the show, by the way. So. Thank you. Thank you, Amber. Woo! God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's been a big season for Ambrose. He's free. He's mingling. He's finally out of the house. Amen. How has that been for you? Have you got to film with anyone else in the cast that you haven't been able to film with before? I, uh, there's a lot more with Richard mm -hmm. and uh, a lot with, with uh, Tati's Prudence. Uh, yeah. You know, they're, they're quite fun scenes. And uh, Richard, who plays Father Blackwood, is horrendously but brilliantly menacing. Like, whatever you see on camera isn't like a fifth of what actually comes out of that man's, like, you know, energy. Just yeah. like, whoa! So, so there's so many times we'll just break, or I'll break character, I can't speak the others, I'll break character and I'll be like, oh, sorry, I just wasn't ready. Like, you were, you were just... <laughs> you gave yeah. me too much. Yeah, right? Well, I mean, it's been a heavier season for Ambrose as well. It has a been. lot of betrayal, mm -hmm. murder. Sounds like American politics. Yeah, which is a kind of Wednesday in Greendale, I guess. How has that been for you filming those scenes? Because that scene where you were in the prison, yes. uh, much, much darker and heavier than throwing sarcasm and drinking coffee. Yeah, well, the great thing about the, the Roberto and the writers is that, you know, they're always open to ideas. They're like, what should we do with Ambrose? And we're like, put him through the ringer, and then we're like, say no more. And then that, whatever, like, they really took the idea and ran with yeah. it, like, 100%. It was great to be able to, like, try and deconstruct the character a bit, because we see that he's got a lot behind his eyes and he's sarcastic and witty, but wanted to, you know, highlight or play on the fact that it's like a, a defense mechanism. And really, he's uh, very sensitive on the inside and, there's only so much a man can take, and he goes through the ring a lot. It was, it was, it was definitely very fun and satisfying to do. Mm -hmm. And there was blood everywhere. That fake sticky <laughs> blood, which tastes really nice, by the way, right? It's, it stays everywhere forever and ever. <laughs> I had blood in places I didn't know I could have <laughs> fake sticky blood. Going into season three, what can we expect from Ambrose? What can you tell us? What can you hint? What can I tell you without telling you, yeah. contractually speaking? <laughs> um, no, it's, um, you know, you, there are stories of people who have gone to prison, right? And they, they come out, like, they go to prison before there are cars. And when they come mm -hmm. out, the world is so different because yeah. there are cars everywhere, they don't know how to handle them themselves. And you have Ambrose now to be able to move forward in his life. He has to reconcile certain aspects of his past. Uh, history repeats itself. Uh, well, history rhymes, shall we say, uh, when it comes to Ambrose. But if he's going to seek power and seek knowledge, it's going to be from a place of good. Mm -hmm. So uh, look out for more badassery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, the dynamic between Ambrose and Prudence as well, one of my favourite things in season two. It was Thank so you. good. <laughs> Can we expect more of a romance side of things? Or are they just like there for each other right now? I would say it's unpredictable where it could go, but mm -hmm. it has potential because they're both unpredictable characters yeah. because of their past, the emotional depth that could either it could take them together or it could rip them horribly apart or one could use the other. So it's it's kind of like a, anyone's game right now. I know for some aspects, you know, where, where Luke was uh, brilliant at being able to free and, and open up Ambrose um, based on, uh, you know, the, the two's trauma, Prudence and Ambrose will be able to heal each other. Well, if it I goes mean, well. Yeah. Right? But we miss Luke as well. That was, it was horrific the way he had to Bring go, right? Bring him back from the dead, man. <laughs> like a, a, <laughs> a, 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 a zombified, yeah. like, hi Luke, how are you doing? I'm great. Just like munching on like a finger yeah. or something. <laughs> are you guys ever going to do a musical episode of Sabrina? That has to be, <laughs> <laughs> they're laughing off screen. Um, if, if there's enough demand for it, I, I think it probably could. So, I mean, that's up to you guys at home watching as well. Um, I can't, yeah, other than that, who knows? <laughs> I mean, do you sing? Do I sing? I haven't sung since uh, year nine or ninth grade. Puberty hit, and then I never had the confidence <laughs> to take it back up. Maybe in the shower, maybe a rap. Oh, I, I love to rap. I will rap <laughs> till the cows come home. Ambrose rapping, there we go. But I don't know if Ambrose is familiar with rap. Ooh, I don't yeah, know if it exists in that world. I think he'd probably sing, I, got a sp I Put a Spell on You. Yeah. Or Papa's Got a Brand New Bag by James Brown. Yeah. All right, one of the biggest things that we need to know about Ambrose are we ever going to find out what happened at the Vatican? Ever? Maybe. 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 That's a, that's a lot of story right there, isn't it? Yeah. That's like a that's like a, a spin-off worth of story. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say you keep mentioning the spin-off. Like that's it. Yo, I'd be down that's hypothetically it. for it. Yeah. Amen. Ooh. We need it. 
Is there like a hashtag at the bottom or something like? <laughs> hashtag the Vatican Adventures. Il Vaticano. Oh! We'll, 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 we'll split the proceeds yeah. half, half and half. I'm in, right? I'm in. Right, so I've got some random questions that have come from the Pop Buzz group chat. Okay. So if you could play any other character on the show, who would you play? Mmm. Leviathan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leviathan. Or, 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 um, that's a tough one actually. Dorian Gray. Because he's got a rich, mysterious yeah. past as well. But he seems to be uh, winning uh, a bit more than Amrose has. He's been able mm -hmm. to take his past and really yeah. make something of himself. So, uh, If you could bring a Riverdale character over to Greendale. Jughead. Jughead. Jug Just think of their philosophical discourse, right? Let's talk yeah. about the existential nature of human beings. Yeah, eat a, eat a milkshake, drink a milkshake, eat a burger, go solve a murder mystery. Like, Perfect. That's... Yes, yes, <laughs> Roberto. Come right. on, come on. Right. Well, I mean, you said previously that you auditioned for Jughead before, right? I did, yeah. yeah. Have you ever given thought to who would have played your parents if you had been Jughead? Because parents in Riverdale are like a big deal. Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. Ooh! <laughs> that's perfect, that's great. Nick or Harvey? In relation to what? Sabrina. As, as Cousin Ambrose. Cousin Ambrose would be like, well, Harvey? 18, 17 years old, lovely, lovely young man, good to my cousin. Ambrose says to about Nick, I've had an orgy with you. I know what you're like, and I'm not quite sure I know what your age is. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna have to go with Team Harvey uh -huh. on that one, as Ambrose. Yeah. But Chance says Team Navi. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Let the fan fiction begin. <laughs> Season three, let's go. Another big one, Hilda or Zelda. Ooh. Oh! Well, Zelda's like this massive fiery matriarch that reminds me of Chance's mum. Mm -hmm. But Ambrose <laughs> is kind of beholden to Hilda because Hilda is Ambrose's mum, essentially. We don't really know the full backstory to it, but they are very close and mm -hmm. pff, I just can't answer that question. Sorry. We'll forget that. Hilda. They're both. <laughs> <laughs> if you, Chance, had a familiar, who would it be? What who would, would it be? be? Who? It would be Denzel James Washington. Brown. <laughs> Denzel, Denzel Brown. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it would, pff, a wolf or a dragon. Like a big, white, with gray, bespeckled bits. <laughs> dragon. <laughs> It's a Game of Thrones crossover, you heard it here first. Yes, Game of Sabrina and Ambrose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. It is the most impossible Chilling Adventures of Sabrina quiz. Right, glasses are coming. Do oh. you think you can't? Thank you so much. Thank can't you. wait to see season three. When do you start filming? We go back for pre-production May 6th to 8th. Mm -hmm. Soon. It's okay. a quick turnaround. God cool, bless. can't wait to see it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. How's the green? Oh, oh many times. Just straight <laughs> solid <laughs> green. If you have a jacket that would help. I got you. <laughs> Does it even go though? Yeah, it's that great. Cool. It's a look. Yeah. Or you could be saying yeah. that just to get started. Just like <laughs> yeah, let's go to the keep. It looks fine, it looks <laughs> great. <laughs> but you that's not looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Screw it. Alright. It's nice, it's tonal. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's tonal as in tone deaf. <laughs> <laughs>